Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Woodstock, Georgia, it's time for Cherokee Business Radio. Now, here's your host. Welcome to another exciting and informative edition of Cherokee Business Radio. Stone Payton here with you this morning. And today's episode is brought to you in part by Woodstock Neighbors Magazine, bringing neighbors and business together. For more information, go to Facebook and Instagram at woodstockneighbors.bvm. And if you have a heart for community and you have a small business and you want to grow that business while serving your community, consider checking out our community partner program. Go to Main Street Warriors. Dot org. All right, it's time for our headliner today. Please join me in welcoming to the broadcast with Theory Salon, Miss Olivia Newell. How are you? I'm great. Good morning. It's so nice to be here with you today. Well, it is a pleasure to have you in the studio. And as invested as you are in beautiful hair, you came in with a gorgeous hat as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I think about my wife because I, I know I'm biased, but I think she looks so great in hats. Yes. You know what? That is my staple look is a hat <laughs> because I always say if a hairstylist has bad hair, that means she's busy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, I, I got a ton of questions and I, I know we're not going to get to them all, but I'd love to uh, maybe start the conversation with you, if, if you could, for, for me and our listening audience, if you could articulate mission, purpose, what are, are you and your team really out there trying to do for folks? Yeah, absolutely. So I am a Woodstock local. I'm born and raised. Um, I've been here my whole life and about Seven years ago, we opened the doors to Theory Salon. Um, We were in the public shopping center off of Trickham and 92. Um, And then about a year ago in November, we bought a commercial building. Um, So we are staying in Woodstock forever. So that's kind of, you know, our stick of where we came from and and who we are. Um, We've got a team of about 20 girls that work for us now. Um, We love to build women from the ground up. So one of our top stylists came to us. Uh, She graduated from high school and was in college and wasn't really loving the route that she was on. Um, So she kind of took a chance on us, dropped out of college, and she's one of our top competing stylists. She just got back from... New York City, uh, where we took them to the L'Oreal Soho Academy, where they learn from platform artists that do um, New York Fashion Week and Vogue magazine and all that stuff. So we train them from the bottom up and they learn from the best. Well, New York must have been a blast. Say more about that. Yes, yes. So I personally actually got to do New York Fashion Week this year, which was highlight of my life, not even my career. It was (laughs) really cool to be... um, bumping shoulders with Nikki and Paris Hilton and Vanessa Williams and, you know, just the who's who of the world. I just kind of stood in this corner and was like, I'm supposed to be here, I swear. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, yeah, it was amazing. So I got to do hair for that and um, they uh, posted it in Times Square. It was just on the big screen TV of the of the Pamela Rowland show and the models that I got to do. And it was amazing to see. It was awesome. All right, and your your new location, where are you located now? Yeah. Yes, so we're still on 92, just a little further down. Um, we are in between the swimwear store and Bridals by Madison. Um, it is going towards Roswell right before you get to Lucky's Beverage on the right-hand side. Well, that's handy, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, all those things are <laughs> get great. Get your haircut, pick up a handle. I yeah, like it. That exactly. could be your new slogan. Exactly. <laughs> all right, you got to tell me more about your your backstory. How did all this get get started for you? Yeah. So I um, am very blessed that I came from a family of entrepreneurs and I actually own the salon with my mom. Mm. Um, we own it with our, our other business partner, Lita. Um, but my mom and Lita have been in the salon world for over 35 years. Um, they had a salon in East Cobb for my entire existence. So that's where I Grew up working at the front desk and shampooing hair. Um, they didn't care about child child labor laws back then, <laughs> clearly. 
Um, that's where I spent my Saturdays as a kid. Um, I went to college to UGA. And then after I graduated, I came back and worked for the salon for a little while. Um, my mom was really pushing me to not follow her footsteps. But I, I loved the industry. And um, I she saw how much I enjoyed it. And I was really good and passionate at it. So she was like, let's become business partners. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so then theory kind of formed itself. And um, we just haven't looked back ever since. Is there anything uh, particular behind the name Theory? No, it was like my mom was on the couch and was like, "Hey, I got a name. It's Theory," and we were like, "Oh, that's actually a great name." <laughs> so, and she named she named the last salon Impulse too. So she's good with the names. <laughs> so I love we'll, we'll it. keep her for that. <laughs> yeah, we got to put her to work in, in branding new shows yes. when we launch new shows. <laughs> exactly. We, we'll give her a call. Exactly. <laughs> so you've clearly been at this a while. You all have. You're established. You've got a lot figured out. I'm sure you've you've uh, had some challenges and learned some things al- along the way. Yeah. But what are you finding the most rewarding at at this point? What's the most fun about it all for you? Yeah, um, honestly, I still just can't get over bringing in these girls that really don't have any idea or direction of what they want to do in life. They just know that like college isn't for them. Um, You know, a lot of them have done like the waitress thing, bartending thing. Um, and they're usually very creative people. Um, so it's nice to kind of give them a map and a way to become successful and find ways for them to become really proud of themselves and have something that they're passionate about and they make a killing. And so it's just great to watch that. I, I really can't get over. I've been in this industry for over 20 years myself and it just never gets old seeing that. So I, I love watching these women just become successful. And I feel like I've had a little bit of, a little bit of that. So it's great. So I got to ask you more. I want to do a little deeper dive on this this idea of recruiting, developing, nurturing, inspiring, motivating uh, your, your team. I've been very fortunate, but through no fault of my own, we have a great team at the Business Radio X Network. But I, it's definitely not my superpower. What What have you learned about recruiting, developing, nurturing, all that kind of stuff? Um, what can I say? I think just pouring your heart into people and being really transparent. Um, I just try to give them advice of what I've been through personally. Um, And it's great because we have myself, I'm 32. um, My business partner, Lita, is in her 50s and my mom is 68. So we've got three women from three different generations. Um, So we pertain to a lot of different groups of women um, and we can just relate to pretty much Pretty much most people that walk through the door, the three of us have definitely been through something. So I think having that relatability um, and then just the passion that we have. Like I said, we've been doing this for so long, but everyone that comes to work for us, like they can feel how much we still love to do this. I mean, like I said, my mom's 68 and still comes in twice a week to do hair because she loves it. Um, Yeah. And it's just, it's great. It's great. I, I have a huge heart for the business. And so if and when it does happen and, and something's not working out, have, do you, have you got a, a methodology, a process for either helping them kind of regroup and turn around or to have the, you know, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? An amicable and just, you know, okay, it's time to, as, as a former mentor of mine once said, free up your future. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You probably wouldn't use those words. No, that's great. But- <laughs> the transparency is great, right? <laughs> Um, no, I can truthfully say this is pretty cool. I don't know how many businesses can say this. Uh, every person that's ever worked for my business still comes in and gets their hair done with us. So wow. not everyone was meant to do this as a career. Like I yeah. said, we take on a lot of young women that aren't sure what they want to do and we're not a great fit for everyone. And that's okay. You know, I'm not coffee. Not everyone's going to love me. Um, <laughs> so with that being said, though, it's just I love to just. I'm a girl's girl, so I'm here to be supportive of women, whether that means working for me or not. Um, And so, yeah, so all the girls that have girls and guys that have been in our business throughout the years, um, I wish them nothing but success. And if it didn't work out in the long run, I always like to think of myself as a stepping stone and into their future. So it's great. I have great relationships with with everyone. And my first employee, shout out Natalie, she's still like our biggest promoter and Mm. loves us. And it's just great. It's great. It's very humbling and, and gratitude feeling. 
And so they're finding it fulfilling like you do the the work itself, but uh, it sounds like it can be pretty darn lucrative work. Yes, yes. It's great. Um, It's kind of like a little secret these days. I feel like your hairstylist is probably doing pretty well. (laughs) (laughs) That's so. I love it. So what about passions outside the scope of, uh, of, of that work of yeah. actually, you know, d- doing the, the hair. You're, my listeners know I like to hunt fish and travel. Yeah. I love it. Uh, but, but how about you outside the scope of that work? Yeah. So I'm married. I've been with my husband for about 10 years. Um, and I have a little boy named Sullivan. He's three. Mm. So he's our pride and joy right now. So we just signed him up for T-ball this year. So yes. that's been fun to watch him, um, <laughs> play at SCRA down the street. He mainly just eats snacks and hang out in the dugout, but it's, you know, it's all for fun. <laughs> right. Um, and a huge dog lover. That's how I met my husband. Um, a mutual friend was like, you have to meet this guy. His dog looks like yours. And I'm like, I have a rescue. No one's dog looks like my brindle puppy. Um, <laughs> but sure enough, he had this very similar dog and we've been together ever since. And we have our third dog that we added to the family last year, Moose, who was about a hundred and something pounds. Oh, and wow. between the three dogs and the two boys, I am needing a baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> So my house is a little stinky. <laughs> well, we're rooting for you. Thank <laughs> you, you. have to keep us, keep us posted on, yes. on that. That's Thank you. funny. <laughs> so where do you, I mean, you're, you're, you're clearly upbeat, you're enthusiastic, your passion comes through uh, your voice and here seeing you, your eyes light up whenever you're talking Thank about you. I- any of this. Uh, but uh, is where do you go for inspiration? Is it that kind of outside passion stuff or do you... Do you read stuff or do you have a mentor that you talk to? Like, where do you go to get kind of refueled and recharged? Yeah, to be honest with you, um, I lost my dad about two years ago. He actually committed suicide. Um, But having that experience was a silver lining in life. It really just shows you that life is short. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. Um, And so I wake up every day very grateful and blessed and honored. And I just take all of that and put it towards my passions. And I just tried to make the world a better place, you know, be the better person than I was yesterday. I'm not in competition with anyone. I just want to do good and right by the world. Well, and I got to say some direct and immediate evidence of that is this, this pop-up event that you're doing. Let's, yes. let's talk about that a bit. Yeah, I'm excited. So I took it upon myself. I've been consulting for friends and family and small businesses, um, in tenfold with doing what I do because I don't know how to sit still or be bored. Um, (laughs) So I decided to start a consulting business. And with that, I wanted to feature local female-owned businesses. Um, So I reached out on Cherokee Connect and I had over 300 applicants that wanted to be a vendor for this event. Um, Huge, huge feedback. (laughs) A little overwhelming. (laughs) Um, So after taking the time, uh, talking to almost all 300 of them, uh, I selected 40 different female-owned businesses. And so we are hosting a pop-up on Saturday, October 7th from 6 to 8 at Theory Salon. Um, There's going to be several different vendors. Um, Some of the coolest ones that I can think of that come to mind uh, one of them I've met, her name is Ansley, and she owns uh, the Steel Magnolia. It is a mobile pop-up bar. Um, she redid a camper, uh, and this will be her big debut at the event. So she'll be slinging some crafted cocktails, so that'll be really fun to see her. Um, another vendor is Ivy Logan Boutique. They took a box truck, um, redid that and put air conditioning in it and everything. And you can walk up the steps and shop local boutiques right in this box truck. Um, mm-hmm. So lots of lots of really cool stuff. Um, I'm excited to have these vendors. All right. So October the 7th, 6 to 8. And you uh, do you need more people, businesses, or do or you want to just now get the word out and, and, and let people know to come? Yep. So we're full for vendors for this event. I've gotten quite a few businesses since asking if we need vendors. Um, Mm -hmm. I love the enthusiasm and you guys can follow me on social media for future events. But for this event, we need more attendees to come. So you can buy your ticket for $5 on the Theory Salon website. It's just theory-salon.com and we'll share that link here in a little bit. Um, But yeah, we want more people to come. There's going to be a live band and bounce houses. So it's kid-friendly. And like I said, some cocktails, charcuterie, 
uh, lots of shopping, permanent jewelry, free hair and makeup. I mean, this is a really fabulous event. You don't want to miss it. No, I don't. And I, I shared with you before we went on air, my sister-in-law is living with me right now uh, as she's building a house in Ackworth. My uh, wife is is here. So well, I'm probably buying at least three tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret it. Trust me, you guys will have a great time. I'll tell you how much how excited I am about this gang. Most of you listeners of this show know that I like to hunt. <laughs> and I'm not going to hunt that evening. I am gonna, I'm going to hunt in the <laughs> morning. Huge. I'll take a shower. <laughs> And, and Sandy and Holly and Stone are coming to this thing. I, I love it. I, I think so. Um, your your consulting business. This was yeah. I mean, this is a a, a bit of a. It's not a pivot because you're still doing the the other thing, but it's a it's an enhancement. It's a it's a new direction. Yeah. What compelled you to do it? Why are you focusing on women? What are you learning? Yeah. All that stuff. So truthfully, like where the passion stemmed from was helping these young women, and I wanted to further, you know, take that a little further. So people that had different businesses that were small businesses, um, I just wanted to share any resource that I've had the opportunity with over the years to make my business successful. I wanted to share with them. Um, I went to school for public relations and marketing. So I felt like I had, you know, a, a wealth of knowledge that I wasn't sharing with people and I wanted to, to help women do that. So consulting kind of gets constantly consulting kind of formed itself. <laughs> Have you been at that long enough to, to start to see some patterns of some common challenges that people at that stage in their business are or have you see some things over and over? Yeah, I have. A lot of people, um, they just really don't know where to spend their money. That's pretty common. Um, and they don't have a heck of a lot of it in exactly, a lot of cases, right? Exactly. So they're small businesses and um, they've got tight budgets and they don't know what to do with them. And, you know, most people think like, oh, I have to pay a big influencer to post about my product. And mm. I like to grow you guys organically. Um, I think just doing things like being on the radio and connecting with your local small businesses and doing these pop-up events is a great way for the these women to network with one another so that way they can do future events together. Um, one of the boutiques, Apricot Lane, that just opened in downtown Woodstock, um, we're going to do a fashion show at the end of the year with her and we'll have um, the charcuterie girl that's coming to the mm -hmm. event um, and a couple other vendors, we're all going to connect and do another event together. So it's a great way for us to network and for them to grow organically without having to spend any of their marketing budget. Believe it or not, I've been to Apricot Lane a half a dozen times. Look at you. I don't believe you hunt and fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, my new criteria for doing most of my business is that it's golf cartable. <laughs> and for my okay. home, you're, I right. can take I, I my golf you. cart. <laughs> and so I've been with Aunt Sandy. I see my sister-in-law. We call her Aunt Sandy. I've been with Holly. I've been with my kids. I love it. <laughs> it's a great store. It's so oh, cute. Yeah. I wish I could live there. <laughs> plus, plus you, you can grab a coffee yes. right there at Starbucks. Yeah. And, uh, there's a, I don't th know if the co-working space is up and running yet, but the, I don't think so. the collaborative, yep. uh, uh, I think it's going to be there before. Till there's a lot of cool. Yeah. Oh, and an oyster house is oh, coming. That is what I, and I saw, they're oh. hiring, so they must be finally yes, getting I, close. Yes, it said October of 2023. I looked yesterday. Oh, baby. I know. I'll yes. be the first customer. I love oysters. <laughs> well, you'll see me there. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, so coming from your consulting experience, coming from your actual in the trenches, been there, done that experience as a small business owner, I'd love it if we could li uh, leave some of our listeners with a a couple, I call them pro tips, yeah. right? Some, some do's or don'ts, some things we should be reading, uh, just to begin thinking, you know, just to continue to, to inform ourselves and, 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 uh, influence our own thinking and, and sharpen our own, our own tools. Yeah. I guess some of the things that I could think of as I said earlier is don't be in competition with anyone. Collaboration, um, that's going to be your best Amen. friend. Um, and just, Never say no. I, I'm a yes girl. I've taken every opportunity, whether it sounded great or not. I've got myself into some weird situations before. <laughs> um, but no, I just like to think of everything as a stepping stone. Um, and you just never know. And, and also never burn a bridge. Um, it's good to keep all your contacts, you know, over the years, because you might look back one day and need a recommendation. I, I think that's marvelous advice. Uh, and in early in my career, I did burn a couple and I I really regret that. And for a long time now, I've worked very hard not to. And yeah. I I agree. And uh, 
we, we uh, the answer, our, almost a mantra at Business Radio X is some form of yes. It might not be the yes the client wants. You know, they're not okay. going to get, you know, X at, at Y fee. <laughs> right. But we might be able to get them X at X fee and figure out a way to help them get most of what they want. Kind of, but it's, uh, yeah, some form of yes. Is <laughs> yeah. You got to bet on yourself, too. You know, no one else is going to do it. So take the risk. Yes. Bet on yourself and you'll be in good. You'll be in good shape. All right, let's make sure that we leave our listeners with all of these great coordinates. I want to make sure they can get to the uh, salon. I want to make sure they can, uh, in, in, this, in the hours and all, with the, with the pop-up. Okay. And if they want to reach out and have a conversation with you about the consulting and, you know, maybe make sure, and we'll have all this published uh, w- when we publish as well. But if someone's, you know, just listening to this, where they can start following you and, and tapping into your work. So whatever you feel like is appropriate, let's make sure they have those coordinates. Yeah, absolutely. So the pop-up event is Saturday, October 7th from 6 to 8. And it's going to be located in, in the parking lot of Theory Salon. Um, it's at 12926 Highway 92. Um, and again, it's near, it's just past the Walmart on 92. And before you get to the Lucky's beverage on the right-hand side. Um, you can buy tickets for the event on our website, theory-salon.com. Um, and if you want to follow me on social media, I've got two handles. One of them is hair and makeup by Olivia and the, the, <clears throat> excuse me. And the other one is constantly consulting. Marvelous. Well, Olivia, it has been an absolute delight having you in the studio. Thank this you. Morning. I hope to come back. This was so fun. <laughs> well, keep up the good work. You're absolutely coming back. We're going to make that happen. And maybe on the next one, maybe or maybe as a recap from one of these pop-ups or, or some of your consulting work, we'll bring in a delighted client from your consulting work or maybe some folks at the pop-up and let's give them an opportunity to, to share their story and promote their work. So you, you and I are going to see more of each other, awesome. particularly as close as your salon is apparently to both the archery shop yes. that I go to <laughs> <laughs> and a liquor store. Exactly. Yeah. You can't miss us. <laughs> All right. We'll keep up the work. Awesome. Th- thank you so much. Thanks so much. All right. Until next time, this is Stone Payton for our guest today, Olivia Newell with Theory Salon and everyone here at the Business Radio X family saying we'll see you again on Cherokee Business Radio.